Hi guys, RT here. So for this video, I'll be teaching you guys how do you should how should you build the Jin Chill. So I assume everyone already have their uh, free Jin Chill we get from the um, lock in, right? Because of the celebration of a CN event, um, CN um, release. So everyone have their own Jin Chill, and maybe you're about starting to um, ask how should you build Jin Chill. So this uh, expert guide is what I made. Uh, I made when Jin Chill were released. And it is still usable, it's the same thing, just that they changed some of the skill effect here. But overall, the, the concept is still the same. If you still want to um, take a reference on other video as well, I'll put a link down in the video description. There's a few more videos I made about Jinchu. Because when Jinchu released, I made like R6, um, R6 Jinchu showcase, True Damage Party showcase, um, Jinchu uh, explanation about the true damage, how does the true damage work, I explain everything and other video as well like combo with Mavis as well but for this video I'll like briefly go through everything again and um, tell telling you what is the best set and what is the best stats for your Jin Chiu so Jin Chiu here um, the stats here I, I, uh, the skill I won't be going through anymore but most importantly this is the equipment suggestion here Calamity set will be the best set for Jin Chiu if you are able to make a team that can deal a lot of debuff um, to the enemy because when you deal debuff to the enemy you're not just um, the teammate is getting punished evil when you are R2 you uh, you also deal more damage due to the calamity effect and also your S2 S3 your S3 here also increase your final damage by um, each debuff on the target increase and this thing will stack with calamity set calamity final damage also will increase when enemy have um, debuff on them so Calamity is the best set in slot, but if you cannot make a lot of debuff on the enemy, then War set is your best choice. Because Jin Chiu have a very high ceiling of attack skilling and defense skilling. So if you look at his skill, his skilling here is 120% of attack bonus, then only 100% of defense. So he skills very well with attack. So War set is one of his best set if you cannot deal a lot of debuff. So if you can deal a lot of debuff, Calamity is your best set. Or if not, then war set is your best set. Astro set is no longer viable here because of the how how many turns he's gonna steal from from um, casting the S two. So Astro set is no longer the case now. Then for the two P set, Avatara is the best because his S one is actually able to hit more a lot of target. So while having punish evil, he attack two more enemy and inflict convict. So his S one is like um leeling oh not leeling. Tang Xuan's S1 is able to hit 3 target which is very strong and it's a true damage as well. Then Avatara set is a very strong set on him. But if you cannot build an Avatara set, then the other set is strong, uh, the defense set to increase your defense stats because his true damage skills with attack and defense. So the stats you should actually focus, the main stats you should focus is attack bonus, then defend, then HP equals to speed because you still want uh, your Jin Chu to be tanky. So HP stat is also important. It's same as important as speed stat. So these two is uh, the same priority, but attack is the highest priority because he have the highest skilling. Then it's the defense. So depends if you want to build him full DPS or you want some tankiness. But overall, you want attack as your highest priority. And you won't build Jin Chu with crit rate and crit damage because he's dealing true damage. You can see here deals true damage to one enemy and true damage cannot be crit cannot uh, you cannot crit with true damage you cannot increase the true uh, true damage um, damage by using seer like defend down seer damage um, se seer debuff on enemy will not increase your damage because it's considered as true damage it totally ignore the enemy defense already so it will not crit it will not um, it will not crit at all so you don't have to build for crit rate and crit damage accuracy and resist isn't that important because Jinchu is mo uh, mainly dealing the config debuff and config here is a silver room debuff silver debuff can, uh, cannot be resist it's 100% land so accuracy on him is not important as well so if you are R0 Jinchu like you if you get the Jinchu and you straight away open open the Jinchu box you're gonna you're gonna have a very strong fighter he's gonna exile in Andras mostly in Andras only for Jinchu case and also maybe story mode this two um, area is where he's um, mostly strong at when he's R0. But when you are R2, he is now not just a strong fighter, he is also a team wide buff buffer. Like the video I posted previously is the combo Jin Chiu plus Mavis combo. That that's when he's able to share his intimidate. The intimidate buff is so strong now, 
and R2 is where he start to um, go meta. Then R6 is uh, one of the PP meta now because PP everyone is using like Hilda, R6 Hilda or like stun Esper to stun, keep controlling your um, Esper. But when you are R6, you, you no longer sleep and no longer stun. And this effect also applies to the teammate who get the Intimidate. So if you look in game, Dao Jin Chiu, you, can, you come to Ascension, not Ascension, um, Resonant. If you look at R6 here, gains Intimidate buff at the start of combat. So Jin Chiu straight away will get the shield. And also, this Intimidate buff is immune to stun and sleep. And Intimidate, intimidate is the one that your teammate is going to get. So in, for example, Mavis get the Intimidate buff from Jin Chiu. Not just Mavis is getting um, lifesteal healing. He also, she also get the shield block like the um, Jiang Jiu Li one. Then Mavis is also immune to stun and sleep because these two effect is added to the intimidate. That's how strong his R6 is and R6 will definitely be a meta. And R2 is is where Jin Chiu starts um, shining his value. It's kind of like the Ethan. Like Ethan is good at R0 but R2 is where he become meta. Then Jin Chiu is the same case. Jin Chiu is R0 is good. You can use Jin Chiu to grind your Endras. Then R2 is where he start going meta. So I'll be sharing my Jin Chiu build now. So you can see my Jin Chiu stats here. I'm um, mainly running on attack, then defense with some speed. Um, HP is, is uh, doesn't matter that, that a lot. Then crit rate, crit damage, I totally avoid. So I don't have crit rate and crit damage. Then some accuracy, some resist because uh, my equipment just land on them. Okay, so. So I'm running I'm running with Calamity set and Avatar set like the set that I mentioned earlier This is the best in slot set for Jinchu. I'm running with attack bonus uh, main stats If you can, you can actually uh, I haven't boosted I haven't boosted yet because I didn't grind a lot of Calamity boost stone So I haven't boosted that So this stat is not the final outcome S Same for my headphone It's going for attack bonus Then the shoe I'm going with speed so you see my stats is surrounding with attack bonus, defend bonus. This is the main stats you are uh, you are actually trying to chase for. So this is how you're gonna build Jin Chu, and then I'm gonna show show you example. So example Jin Chu plus Mavis plus Clara. So Ma Mavis Jin Chu is the combo that I posted previously. If you haven't uh, watched it, watch that one first because that one is a very meta um, team comp. And then maybe um, Clara here is just helping me to boost my team up and then I will show you how Calamity works with Jin Chiu. So we start the battle now. Okay, I, I push my team. So the moment maybe um, take her, her turn, her passive will apply the crit rate up to Jin Chiu, which means she already buffed Jin Chiu, so maybe we'll get the Intimidate buff here. Right, so I cast S3. Then I will still remain my Intimidate buff and I also get one Punish Evil stack on Mavis. Then Punish Evil increase 50% uh, uh, of base attack and 50% of base defense for Mavis. So Mavis now is a lot tankier um, because of the base defense increase. Now you look at my Jin Chiu. I cast S2 so I straight away get a Punish Evil of 100% attack on, and 100% defense but it's a base one. Then I cast S3. I'm dealing 53, uh, 53k damage and this one, it did not trigger the Calamity damage, right? So I just simply attack one to let my Jinchu take the turn. Okay, so now, let me do it again. So now I cast S1. I can, you see, I, I triggered the Calamity already because now Jinchu, uh, the enemy here have the config buff, which is considered as a debuff. So now Calamity starts to show. So now I continue to cast um, S2, then an S3. And now my, my damage is increased by like 10k because uh, the Calamity set starts working now because they have the Conflict debuff. So if you can make like other Esper such as um, Prisca for example, cause Prisca is able to deal a lot of debuff. Okay, uh, we try Hilda. Okay, so Hilda can deal a lot of poison stack. So I buff my team. And an S3. So now my Mavis can't, can't die already because of the Intimidate buff. And S2, S3. Okay, 50k damage. Now I use Hilda to apply poison. So now they have a lot of debuff, right? 
So now I, I my Jinchu take turn. S1. You see, just my S1 is dealing um 30 36 k damage already. Okay, now I just wait for Jinchu taking his turn. Okay. So just now my Jinchu is dealing 50k damage and now you look at um, how many, uh, how much damage is Jinchu able to deal now with Calamity set effect and also this each debuff on target increase this ability final damage by 10%. So now let's go. 96k damage. You see the damage different boost is like double and Calamity set effects to Jinchu and it works very strong with Jinchu. So this is how you're going to build uh, build for Jinchu. So feel free to comment down if you have any question you want to ask about the Jinchu build. And if you want to take a reference on other Jinchu um, guide video I made um, like um, one month ago, um, feel free to check out the video description. I put a link there as well. Right, so hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.